So you get the updated numbers of the RSI and ADX. And accordingly, my mathematical formula get updated. And I just see those numbers only. I don't see charts. I don't see live market. I just see those numbers. And according to those numbers, I have made my fixed rules. And uh, accordingly, I trade in the market. Now about the product, I trade only in option writing. I don't do. I I, I don't know how to buy option. I have never bought option, so I don't know how to buy option. So I don't buy option. I don't trade in futures because for me, future trading is very dangerous and it is very difficult to make consistent money out of future. Uh, previously, ten years back, I have traded in futures and uh, I was not able to uh, maintain consistent return from futures. So I stopped trading in futures, and gradually I st uh, started trading only in Bank Nifty options. And uh, almost since all, I, almost five years, I am consistently trading in Bank Nifty options only, and that too only in option writing only, and that too only in weekly option writing. So now my trading area is totally focused. I don't trade in stocks. I don't trade in index. I trade in Bank Nifty, and that too only in option writing only. And I don't have any fancy setup. I use two mobiles: one mobile to watch those numbers, and another mobile to call my broker to uh, uh, do the trading according to the signal generator from my system. So I don't use even terminal with me on also. Okay. So since you're talking about like trading psychology, so like what do you think about uh, how important is to having is to have strategy or rules? And like uh, before applying any strategy, like do we when we buy back test, should we back test or not? So what do you think about that? Having strategy and rules to enter into any strategy. In my opinion, uh, market is always uh, chaotic. Uh, it is uh, even if we go to any city, we cannot reach to our destination without using a Google Map or some guide. or some navigator so everywhere we need some navigator or a guide same way in market if we don't have any system or strategy then we don't know how to trade so definitely uh, everyone should have their own defined system according to their own uh, style of trading but we need to have a fixed system and that system should have three parameters one a fixed entry criteria second a fixed position criteria because in every uh, same setup we cannot take similar exposure every time so in certain times we need we, we can take aggressive position in certain time we can take uh, less position so that that your system should define you that so your system should have entry rules when to buy when to sell when to write the call option when to write the put option so that should be the fi fixed defined rules your system should also have the position sizing rules and most important the perfect exit criteria that should be no dilemma and in my opinion there are two types of system we can trade upon one is subjective trading and another is objective trading more we have objective type of trading means more more we have a fixed rules suppose i have if i have written down those rules in my absence anybody of my staff also can trade on my rules if that that clear rules if we have then that system is uh, very easy to implement in the market but there are some certain certain rules like subjective trading like uh, uh, if you use elliot wave or if you use uh, trend lines or if you if you if you hello i'm a Certain types of uh, in uh, patterns. Hello. Yes. Did you see? I can't hear you. Uh, there may be some problem. I think. Yes. Yes. I think there is some problem. Uh, I am audible now. Yes. 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 You are yes. Uh, if it is means i can log in from another mobile no problem no no now we can hear you properly okay, just be fine. in a place where you have you are having good network okay go ahead no, I, I, yes yes 
so in my opinion the uh, trading system should be more of a objective type of trading system than of a subjective type type of trading system so in means i can uh, give example from my own branch if we have a fixed a uh, pathological lab reports then if the lab report gives you a blood sugar level of 250 then it anybody can say that this patient is having the glucose level more than than the required level so it is it is a it's it is a objective type of diagnosis the levels are fixed this level is normal and this level is higher levels but if the uh, a patient requires sonography report then it becomes a subjective type of type of diagnosis so only a diag uh, a radiologist and a diagnosis can change from one person to another person according to his personal expertise or experience so in same way in in trading i believe in more of a objective type of trading so i believe in levels and that's why i am using rsi and adx where i have fixed uh, uh, fixed particular levels okay, according to levels i do my trading and that helps me in the trading and i don't believe in back testing because back testing and uh, forward testing so i i believe in forward testing so i believe whenever i define any strategy or a change in strategy then i actually do trading with me uh, to uh, decide the uh, success or the failure rate of the system and and accordingly i trade in the market right the you see uh, people usually follow some kind of trading system so if you ask anyone so they'll say that we have some system which we are religiously following now people say that they are religiously following now how will we come to know when to stop following a particular system because see all systems doesn't give you money always so when let's say i am entering into a strategy from that time onwards the strategy has started giving me losses so when should we know that when to stop trading on certain strategies maybe because it's change in market scenario and then how should we move into a new strategy i don't i don't think the market uh, uh, when i started trading in the market there was uh, very much uh, uh, very less information was available there were no live charts no uh, live indicators were available no live prices were available and currently we are having a uh, lots of information we are getting the information at the fingertip but the human psychology and the trading psychology remains the same and trading setups remains the same so i don't believe in changing the strategies if your strategy is giving you a good return in the long run then i don't believe in changing the system if you get consecutive few losses because uh, every system or all system cannot work in all types of market conditions so there are times certain times in which your system will not perform and there are certain times in which your system will perform extraordinary so i don't believe in changing the system just uh, and and i don't i i don't judge my uh, uh, success in or failure according to the returns i judge my success or failure according to how much uh, strictly i am following my rules because uh, everybody knows the system everybody knows the rules still we know uh, it is very difficult to uh, remain adherent to rules because the trading time the fluctuation in the price gives rise to very uh, uh, adrenaline secretions in the mind and people makes the mistakes people breaks their own rules people breaks their own system and there and there that the trap occurs wow it was a very nice answer i love loved it so uh, and uh, that was a good question by shankar actually it's i think that that answers one very important area that is if you are following a system and you are failing the system may whatever comes do not break the rule right you should not break the rule you have to continue with that system it's it happened with my life also Absolutely. i had a good strategy very good strategy in my uh, i was trading for a couple of years and i have did the back testing also in my previous two years experience and back tested of five years experience uh, the it was showing like a, there may be a maximum of four consecutive losing streak means four days can be con continuously losing streak 
not more than four days. So I was thinking like, and uh, when I started for live trading also, it was giving the maximum four days as a losing streak. The in between, what happened is I got twelve to thirteen uh, losing streak. You can understand twelve to thirteen means it's more than two weeks. More than two weeks, I am losing. Oh, um, two and a half weeks. Continuously, I am losing. Every day, I am punching that strategy in the live market, and I am losing money. It was in the back tested. It was four times. Well, means four consecutive times. Then I, um, I thought like there may be something wrong, and this strategy has stopped working. Now this is the time to stop this. But somewhat, I thought like no, I should not stop because previously it has given good uh, return. Let me try for another ten, fifteen days. Then the after the two days it started giving a profit and all the drawdown has it killed actually and I uh, I got a very good profit uh, within the next month. That has happened with my in my life also, Jigneshi. There there is, means there is my one uh, I I have put in the Twitter also. Uh, um, Umra bar galib yehi bhul karte rahe taklif mindset me thi aur hum trading system badalte rahe. I somehow feel what the market does is, you know, the market will stay bullish till the time the last bear is dead. The market will stay bearish till the time the last bull is killed. Yeah, yeah. And it keeps testing our patience. So the solution is just, you know, stick to your discipline. Yeah, and you have to be for, I mean, uh, uh, disciplined. You you should be disciplined. Anyway, absolutely, the, absolutely. Yeah, yeah. yeah, I will go to the my question actually. Uh, so, uh, Jigneshi, the so most of the time, what happened? Like when I'm punching a trade, I think about the profit, right? Not only me, and most of every trader. So uh, we think about the profit. Okay, yeah, it may get the profit as it. And everyone before coming to trading days, the how much return will get? It will get how much, right? Those things we think. But can you let us know what can be controlled in the market and what cannot be controlled? And किसके बारे में हम लोग ज़्यादा सोचना चाहिए और किसके बारे में हम लोग नहीं सोचना चाहिए trading करने के time पे? In in my frank opinion, market uh, profit returns ये सब तो buy product है. Uh, in हमको तो सिर्फ loss पे ध्यान रखना है क्योंकि only thing we can control is loss. We can't control other things. So, uh, in हमको uh, capital अगर हमारे पास रहेगी तो ही हम ये market में रह पाएंगे. जो business हम कर रहे हैं वो capital का business कर रहे हैं. And if we don't have the capital, then then uh, there is no point in remaining the market. So मैं तो market में कोई भी trade लेता हूँ. I don't believe कि मुझे कितना return मिलेगा या उस सब पे focus करना ही नहीं चाहिए. और वो हमारे हमारे control में भी नहीं है. Only thing we can control is how we can control the losses. So suppose I am an option writer. So I, if I have taken a position once, I become more alert that when I have sold my option, because I am a positional trader, so if my option is at the closing price of yesterday, if it is going green, that means it is positive, then I become more alert that no, 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 एकदम अलर्ट रहना है सेकंड मेरी सेल किए हुए ऑप्शन का जो प्राइस हो उससे मैं कभी मेरे प्राइस को डबल से ज्यादा नहीं होने देता हूं तो दैट इज माय अल्टीमेट स्टॉप लॉस एंड थर्ड आई नेवर अलाउ माय ऑप्शन राइटिंग पोजीशन टू बिकम द इन द मनी पोजीशन बिकॉज़ जब इन द मनी हो जाता है डेल्टा 1 हो जाता है देन देन द लॉस लॉसेस बहुत ही फास्ट हो जाते हैं और ऑप्शन राइटिंग जो मैं काम कर रहा हूं वो बहुत ही रिस्की काम है और वो मुझ में जानता हूं भी हूं तो अगर मैं केयर नहीं करूंगा तो मैंने चार या पांच साल में कुछ कमाया होगा ना वो मैं एक दिन में भी पूरा लॉस कर सकता हूं क्योंकि ऑप्शन राइटिंग इज दैट रिस्की तो मुझे तो इन माय ओपिनियन हम सबको फोकस रिस्क पे ही करना चाहिए रिवॉर्ड रिटर्न्स ये सब तो बाय प्रोडक्ट है वो तो अपने आप वो प्रॉफिट तो खुद का केयर करेगा हमको तो लॉस का केयर करना है सुपो इट्स अ वेरी गुड आंसर आई थिंक Everyone should follow this and uh, should write somewhere. Write down somewhere. Yeah. Go ahead, Ban. If you ask me something. Yes. Yeah, so you are saying like uh, you don't keep in the money options, but out of the money, like how much uh, out of the money strike do you like trade in? So this is one of one of my question. And like another question is like regarding uh, traders who <coughs> start in the market. So like what should their uh, should be their weekly or monthly profit target? 
like how much return they can expect from, should we expect from the trade like should we be over ambitious or like uh, how much should be our expectation per month uh we are in the market and we study the means majority traders and the investors they study the fundamentals report of the uh, companies big companies big corporates and we have seen how much uh, these companies generate uh, profit or growth year on year so suppose in the market if these big corporates are if they are happy with uh, 30 to 40% uh, return on their capital then same way a trader should be more than happy if they can get the 30 to 40% return in a year so that means if we can get 3 to 4% re- e- return in a month then it should be considered as the extraordinary return and one should not target more than that if you get it then it you are extraordinary but you should not target more than that because market in market the general returns are the if the fd returns are 6 to 7% in the year and if the market general investment market if, if it is given 12 to 14% in the year then if we can get 30 to 40% then we are generating lots of alpha and a extraordinary return if we can get 36% return then our capital can double in two years so in my opinion 3 to 4% return in a month means in a week if i am i am talking about weekly expiry then if it if, if i am if i am able to get consistent 1 to 1.5% return in a week then i i will consider it as extraordinary return okay and uh, regarding the other question that i had that you are telling that you trade uh, you do not trade deep in the money so like how much uh, out of the money strikes like you generally prefer Uh, I always, I always used to say, uh, tell my friends and uh, my uh, means whenever I take the lectures. Ah, uh, option buyer ko hamesa mange option buy karne chahiye, or option seller ko hamesa saste option sell karne chahiye. So a uh, option buyer should always focused on point five or higher delta to buy the options. Ah, uh, that means they should focus on the at the money or in the money options to buy the options. इन बिल्कुल ऑपोजिट ऑप्शन सेलर के रह रहेगा और ऑप्शन सेलर और ऑप्शन राइटर शुड फोकस ऑन दी पॉइंट टू और लेस डेल्टा मीन्स दे शुड ऑलवेज सेल दी आउट ऑफ मनी ऑप्शन सो वॉट आई डू प्रैक्टिकली आई ऑलवेज फोकस ऑन दी एट द मनी ऑप्शन प्राइस सपोज द बैंक निफ्टी इज करंटली ट्रेडिंग एट थर्टी नाइन थाउजेंड एंड इफ द एट द मनी ऑप्शन कॉल एंड ऑप्शन कंबाइंड प्रीमियम द स्टेडल प्रीमियम इफ इट इज सेवन हंड्रेड देन सेवन हंड्रेड थर्टी नाइन थाउजेंड माइनस सेवन हंड्रेड मीन्स इट कम्स थर्टी एट थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड सो एनी पुट ऑप्शन स्ट्राइक प्राइस लेस देन थर्टी एट थाउजेंड थ्री हंड्रेड विल बी पॉइंट टू और लेस डेल्टा एंड द करंट प्राइस इफ थर्टी नाइन थाउजेंड तो थर्टी नाइन थाउजेंड प्लस सेवन हंड्रेड सो एनी कॉल ऑप्शन प्राइस अबाउ थर्टी नाइन सेवन हंड्रेड विल बी पॉइंट टू और लेस डेल्टा सो आई विल फोकस टू सेल दिस टाइप ऑफ ऑप्शन सो करंट प्राइस Minus jodi bhav, and below that put options are my uh, target area for put writing, and current price plus jodi bhav, and above that price are the strike price for uh, suppose I if I think of uh, uh, call writing, then that will be the my strike focus area. Uh, great, great. Doctor sir, one thing tell me. Now, traders who are So, हम लोग प्रॉफिट जब आता है वी लैंड बुकिंग प्रॉफिट वेरी अर्ली बट वेन इट कम्स टू लॉस वी डोंट वी डोंट बुक लॉसेज एट ऑल एंड देन लॉस बढ़ता ही जाता है बढ़ता ही जाता है दैट्स वॉट हैपन्स स्पेशली विथ मोस्ट ऑफ द ट्रेडर्स रिटेल ट्रेडर्स हाउ टू बुक लॉस अर्ली और एड टू योर विनिंग ट्रेड्स सो हाउ डू वी कीप ऑन फॉलोइंग अप और ट्रेलिंग अप आवर प्रॉफिट्स और लॉस होता है तो आपका जल्दी लॉस बुक करके निकल कैसे जा सकते हैं इसके लिए कैसा माइंडसेट चाहिए नहीं ये ये जब आप लेवरेज प्रोडक्ट में काम करना चाहते हो तो उसके पहले आपको आपके माइंड को तैयार करना चाहिए अनलेवरेज प्रोडक्ट मींस डिलीवरी बेस्ड प्रोडक्ट में काम करके और अलाउ योर प्रॉफिट टू रन 
अगर आपने कोई ट्रेंड फॉलोइंग सिस्टम को अपना लिया है तो जब तक आपकी सिस्टम आपको एग्जिट नहीं बोलती है तब तक वो प्रॉफिट को रन करते रहो क्योंकि सी आउट ऑफ टेन ट्रेड वन ट्रेड विल बी विल गिव अ माइंड ब्लोइंग रिटर्न एंड फोर फाइव ट्रेड विल ऑलवेज एंड अप इन लॉस दिस इज दिस विल हैपन विद एनी ट्रेडर एनी 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 ट्रेडर हु एवर इज ट्रेडिंग इन द मार्केट हु एवर हैविंग द एक्स्ट्रा ऑर्डिनरी सक्सेस रेशियो स्टिल दे विल हैव फोर और फाइव ट्रेड आउट ऑफ टेन ट्रेड दैट दैट ट्रेड्स विल एंड विल एंड इन द लॉसेस so uh, if if that that can happen with a big trader or successful traders then it can happen with anybody it can happen with me also see if we, if i want to trade in the market then i should prepare my mind to book losses in four or five trade out of 10 trades and that and 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 i there's there's there no ego should come in between so loss to jabhi bhi aaye ekdam himmat se khush ho ke book karo kyunki ट्रेडिंग एक बिजनेस है और बिजनेस में दो चीज होती है एक इनकम होती है और एक एक्सपेंसेस होता है तो जो प्रॉफिट है वो आपका इनकम है और जो लॉसेस है वो आपका एक्सपेंसेस है और अल्टीमेटली आपका रिटर्न इनकम माइनस एक्सपेंसेस अगर इनकम आपकी एक्सपेंसेस से ज्यादा होगी तो ही आपका पॉजिटिव रिटर्न रहेगा तो ऐसा तो नहीं है कि आपको हर ट्रेड में जान लगा देनी और हर ट्रेड में आपको प्रॉफिट लेके जाना है कोई पूछने वाला नहीं है आपको कि आपने इंडिविजुअल ट्रेड में क्या किया अल्टीमेटली what uh, you take money at at your home bahut zyada important hai to wo hum log ko agar sikhna hai na to we can learn from simple vegetable vendors only wo jo log vegetable vendors hote hai wo subah mein saath baaji leke aate hai aur lari laga ke baithte hai to wo log subah mein bahut mehenge bhav mein saath baaji ko bechte hai fir unko lagta hai jaise jaise ki unko zyada uh, business nahi mil raha hai to wo shaam ko stop loss laga ke uh, pura अपना जो है वो सब्जी कोई भी भाव पे बेच के वो लोग चले जाएंगे तो अगर ये लोग इतने सामान्य लोग को भी इतना अच्छा ट्रेडिंग आता है तो फिर हम लोग तो ज्यादा इंटेलिजेंट है और हम लोग मार्केट में काम करते तो हमको तो उनसे अच्छा ट्रेडिंग साइकोलॉजी से काम करना चाहिए ये बहुत अच्छा बोला आपने एंड वेजिटेबल्स जैसे ऑप्शन एक्सपायर कर जाता है वैसे वेजिटेबल्स भी एक्सपायर हो जाता है सही सही बात बात है है पे ऑडियंस के लिए इसमें हाउ डू यू मैनेज फंड एलोकेशन फॉर इच ट्रेड मतलब मैक्सिमम रिस्क आप कितना लोगे जैसे आप बोल रहे हो तीन परसेंट का प्रॉफिट देख रहे हो तो लॉस कितना देखोगे मैं आपको मैं सिंपल मीन्स आपको एक्सप्लेन करता हूँ कि अगर मैं पांच लाख की मैं पांच लाख की कैपिटल के मल्टीप्लिकेशन में ही काम करता हूं तो मैं पांच लाख की कैपिटल पे अगर काम करता हूं तो आउट ऑफ फाइव लाख कैपिटल आई टेक ऑप्शन राइटिंग पोजीशन मैक्सिमम ओपन पोजीशन थ्री और फोर पोजीशंस सो पर पर ट्रेड माय एलोकेशन इज वन पॉइंट फाइव लैक्स रुपीज सो जनरली वेन एवर आई गेट दी फुल्ली बुलिस और फुल्ली बेरी सिग्नल देन एंड देन आई टेक दी फुल एक्सपोजर अदरवाइज आई कीप 50% of my capital free so i can uh, take the adjustments whenever there is a gap up or gap down openings right and uh, i i i am a directional option trader so i i am not non means i i don't believe in straddle or strangle writing i believe in more in a op- uh, directional option writing so i like like current li- market which is very bullish market so i like this type of market where we can easily write the uh, put options and then i we can focus in our other activities because we don't have to look at the market frequently because in in like current market there is a dominant grip so whenever there is a dominant grip of one side then it becomes a very easy market for me right jitish i have not a loss ek ek cheez jo mujhe mera jo sawal tha second sawal that is loss kitna rakhoge maximum mere mere computers This is for example, I mean, in my case, what I do, I have a fixed stop loss. If I'm writing, my premium is so much higher, then I square off. If I'm buying, my premium is so much higher, then I square off. What is the percentage? Or what is the amount you see? I have more than three percent of my capital in any trade. Three percent of my loss is more than three percent. But I have kept more than three percent of my capital in option. ऑप्शन प्राइस मेरे सेल किए हुए प्राइस से अगर डबल हो गया 
तो आई डोंट थिंक मीन्स गिव अ सेकंड थॉट आई इमीजिएटली क्लोज माय पोजीशन बिकॉज दैट इट इट सेल्फ इन इज एन इंडिकेशन के माय ट्रेड इज टोटली रॉन्ग ट्रेड एंड आई एम आई एम होल्डिंग अ रॉन्ग ट्रेड सो इफ आई ब्रेक आउट हो गया हां इफ आई हैव सोल्ड अ ऑप्शन एट 80 रुपीस एंड दैट प्राइस ऑफ दैट ऑप्शन बिकम्स 160 रुपीस एंड इमीजिएटली आई क्लोज माय पोजीशन सो वंस वी क्लोज द पोजीशन आवर आवर माइंड बिकम्स अ फ्री माइंड एंड वी टेक अ फ्रेश लुक एट द मार्केट एंड वी take a fresh position in the market so that's why means uh, saving of the capital is more in the more important than the return on the capital i believe repeatedly repeatedly mai aisa manta hu ki ye market mein kisi bhi banda ko ek bar loss book karne ka aa gaya na samjho usko duniya ki koi taakat ye market mein paisa banane se nahi rok sakti loss booking is an art aur wohi art pe sabko sabko uske upar mastery lana hai और वो लॉस बुक जब भी करो विद ग्रेस कभी भी डर के मत करो लॉस बुक हो गया आ गया तो उसको कभी भी इमोशनली मत लो समझो कि ये लॉस नहीं ये लेसन है और वो लेसन नेक्स्ट टाइम उनको ज्यादा अलर्ट बनाता है और ये ट्रेडिंग फीस है अपना ट्रेनिंग फीस ट्रेनिंग 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 फीस हम हम बच्चों को छोटो बच्चों को सिखाते हैं जब चलने का तो उनको पहले वो चलते तो सबसे पहले तो वो गिर ही जाते है ना तो वो वो उनको एक बार गिरने का संभलना आ गया तो उनको चलना आ जाता है तो मार्केट में भी वही हो जाता है कि शुरुआत में तो लॉसेस फ्रीक्वेंट ले आएंगे तो वो एक बार हमको उससे हमने कुछ सीखा कि ये क्यों हो गया मुझे कहाँ ध्यान रखना था और इस नेक्स्ट टाइम मैं केयर करूंगा लेकिन अगर लॉस में से लेसन नहीं लेंगे तो फिर लॉस बारी बारी आएंगे ग्रेट बहुत अच्छे से अच्छे तरीके से आपने एक्सप्लेन किया कि लॉस कैसा बुक करना है प्रॉफिट बुक करना है तो सबको पता है बट हाउ टू बुक द लॉस इट्स वेरी नाइस सबको प्रॉफिट बुक करना आता है उसमें तकलीफ क्या होती है कि लोग प्रॉफिट जल्दी बुक कर देते हैं ये 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 क्या है प्रॉफिट बुक करना भी नहीं आता है मैं तो मानता हूँ प्रॉफिट भी बुक करना नहीं आता है फिर फिर उनके पास सिर्फ स्टोरी रह जाती है कि ये चीज मैंने ये भाव पे ली थी और मैंने तो ये भाव पे बेच दी और अब तो ये स्टॉक इतना हो गया तो वो स्टोरी बनने की जगह वो स्टोरी का खुद हिस्सा बनो ना कि मैंने तब तक एटलीस्ट थोड़ा तो पार्ट उसको होल्ड करके रखो आपने कुछ कुछ अच्छी एंट्री ढूंढ की लोगों को एंट्री पे ज्यादा इम्पोर्ट मीन्स इम्पोर्टेंस देते हैं सब लोग मार्केट में जब भी कोई कॉल करते हैं आप लोगों को भी होता है तो सब लोग एक ही क्वेश्चन करते हैं कि क्या लेना है नो बड़ी मीन्स नो बड़ी फोकस ऑन दी एग्जिट की क्या बेचना है तो मार्केट में सब लोग ज्यादा एंट्री पे फोकस करते हैं और एक अच्छी एंट्री भी ले ली लेकिन फिर अगर वो एंट्री को होल्ड नहीं किया तो कोई फायदा नहीं है ना पूरा मोमेंटम अगर मार्केट ने एक मोमेंटम पकड़ लिया तो वो पूरा मोमेंटम का जितना हो सके वो सेडी का रस जैसा है कि जितना सेडी का पूरा रस निकालो उतना आपके फायदे में है ना राइट वेरी टू वेरी टू आपने बताया कि ट्रेड इज ए बिजनेस बट बाई ए प्रोफेशन यूर ए डॉक्टर आपका फुल टाइम इज प्रोफेशन इज ए डॉक्टर आप पार्ट टाइम इज ट्रेडिंग भी कर रहे हैं बट आप ये सीजनल ट्रेडर हाउ यू हैंडल यूर प्रोफेशन एंड ट्रेडिंग बोथ ये दोनों आप हैंडल कैसा करते हैं एक डॉक्टर के लिए बहुत कॉन्सेंट्रेशन चाहिए पेशेंट के ऊपर कॉन्सेंट्रेशन होता है तो मार्केट को आप फ्रीक्वेंटली में भी आप ट्रैक नहीं कर पाते राइट तो ये मैं आप अपना ऑडियंस को भी क्या मैसेज देना चाहता है इसमें लाइक कैन दे बिकम ए part time trader and full time as a profession and what kind of mentality or psychology we have to follow see there are lots many similarities been my, in between my profession and trading profession uh we as a doctors we we are we we daily we deal with uncertainty and trading is also a business of dealing with uncertainty so that is the one thing which is in our dna how to deal with uncertainty so that helps me in trading that is number one second thing we are the fastest decision makers because in surgery is uh, to save the life of a patient we need to take fast decisions whenever there is a complication in the patient in the surgery then our only focus is how to save the life of life of the patient same way in trading you need you you need to be a fast decision makers trading is not a business for lazy people you have to take fast decision whenever the uh, there is a demand for taking that decision so you have to take that decision same though so that is also in our dna we we are the fastest decision makers we deal with uncertainty 
we we uh, right from our training during our mbbs we learn how to see the charts and how to read the labels like labels of blood pressure or labels of glucose or reading the charts of ecg or eeg like that so that's why i there are lots many similarities between the training and the uh, in my profession second thing uh, i am a full time gynecologist i trained basic uh, on the basis of the 75 minute charts or or the 75 minute candles so my numbers are from that rsi and adx numbers are from that 75 minute candle so i don't focus on the smaller time frame so i get sufficient time to take uh, the decisions and to implement the decisions so now i am comfortably managing the both and second thing my wife is also gynecologist so there is a good support from her so because of her support also i am able to do this trading okay wonderful so uh one question i had about this week so like uh, th- thursday we had a gap up in the market and like most of the positional traders generally they make back big loss or profit in gap up so how do you like before the market opens around 9:15 am if you come to know that like, market is opening at a gap up or gap down uh, so like how do you take this scenario handle this scenario and to how do you manage the risk beforehand uh, there is there is no nothing like management uh maximum time time i take is 9:16 am i immediately close my position okay. whenever there is my 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 option writing position is against me in a big gap up opening then first thing i do immediately i close my those uh, suppose in this case i need to close my call writing position so i immediately i was having a one call writing position at 38700 call writing and there were three put writing position so i immediately closed my call writing position and started focusing on the uh, immediately on the jodi bhav and the current price minus jodi bhav i started writing the put option so i focused on the system only i don't i i, I don't have a single hesitation whenever i need to book the losses and this gap up and gap up opening one need to ready to deal with it if you are a position option writer so that is part and parcel of the business Okay, wonderful. So we have some questions from our audience also, and like if anybody else has any question, they can directly send me, Shankar or Peter, or can ask in the thread uh, of this chatter. So the question is like, uh, on expiry day after 1 p.m., so if a person wants to sell option, so like how do you choose the OTM strike? Like uh, they need only five to ten rupees premium. So in that case, how to go about it? So this is one question, and I- similar question is also. from one more person is like how to choose stock option strike which i had already asked so mostly strike selection on the expiry and in general i i i personally i don't uh, believe in trading in the expiry because it, in in my opinion expiry trading is more of a uh, speculation than of a uh, strategic trading because the gamma plays a big role uh, see the jodi bhav becomes hardly uh, 250 to 300 rupees Uh, after 1 pm so if the bank nifty is trading around 38700 then the uh, put means uh, point 2 delta will be uh, put option will be around 38500 and point 2 call option delta will be around 38900 so it it, it, it is very near by uh, option strike price than the current price and for bank nifty to have a fluctuation of 200 300 points in last 30 or 4 minutes or 1 hour is very easy so if if we if, if that moment occurs after 130 pm then because of the delta uh, gamma the delta of that particular option change from 0.2 to 1 delta immediately so your uh, your losses will be very big so i don't at all trade on the expiry and i generally close my positions before 12 or maximum 1230 pm on the expiry day and i start trading on the next expiry So okay. I, I I I I myself don't trade on the expiry. Wow, that's a you're a option seller and you don't trade on uh, expiry means not expiry trading. No 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 no. Yes. I I don't I, I I don't believe because it is more of a speculation. You you want to uh, have the, all your options to expire at zero rupees. 
and you you take the big risk out of this uh, you you sell a option of 10 or 15 or 20 rupees and you want to expire that means your profit target is fixed but that uh, 10 15 20 rupees option can become 100 150 rupees yes so it your can your ratio is not at all favorable but by the way it's a, it's a very unique thing which we have just experienced is most of the writers which and we have interviewed they generally trade mostly on expiry aur zyada karta bhi hai so that this is basically a learning for us shankar everyone has their own way of for trading it is something new uh, so, we are learning absolutely. so i have i have learned yeah, last time one one of the twitter spaces i we met one girl, person he was only trading one when uh, tuesday wednesday and thursday only three days and he's three days. Ma- trying to manage 2% one and a half 2% and the jignesh has a one more interesting fact like uh, you don't trade after 12 or 12:30 on expiry day so yes that's also uh, yeah it's a good new learning for us मॉर्निंग तक में हो जाता है तो फिर वाई टू टेक द अनेसेसरी रिस्क ऑफ होल्डिंग द पोजिशन आफ्टर वन पी एम जब मेरा एक और क्वेश्चन था जिग्नेश भाई ये जो आपका राइटिंग करते हो आप करंट एक्सपायरी करते हो या मंथ एंड का करते हो नहीं मैं वीकली एक्सपायरी करता हूँ वीकली एक्सपायरी करता हूँ वीकली इज योर फेवरेट ग्रेट जिग्नेश भाई द मे बी वी वी स्पेंड अराउंड फोर्टी फाइव मिनट्स नाउ so maybe we have one more क्वेश्चन वॉट काइंड ऑफ सी देर मे बी सम पीपल न्यू पीपल came to the market after two, uh, 2020 corona crash maybe some people may think like i i need to follow the fundamentals i i want to become a trader or sorry investor or some people may think like uh, i want to become a investor or sorry trader some people may want to become a investor or some people wants to become a trader so what kind of uh, mindset should trader should have or investor should have and the certain mindset he has then only he can become a trader ट्रेडर ट्रेडर मीन्स ट्रेडर के लिए मेरे हिसाब से देर आर सर्टेन थिंग्स रिक्वायर वन शुड मीन्स ऑब्जर्व वन ओन सेल्फ हाउ काम दैट पर्सन इज इन सच एन सिचुएशन लाइफ इफ यू आर अ वेरी इजिली यू कैन बी अ इरिटेबल पर्सन इफ यू आर अ मोर एंग्री पर्सन इफ यू आर अ इगोइस्टिक पर्सन uh then you don't have any place in the trading because trading uh requires for the means a successful trader is always a humble person kyunki aapko loss kha kha ke itna aapko humble bana dete hai na ki aap ekdam down to earth ban jate ho to wo personality aap mein ho to hi aap trading mein aa sakte ho agar aapko aapke mindset mein aapka aapka mindset revenge mindset type ka hai then trading is not for you because jo log jaldi uh, angry ho jate hai gusse mein aa jate hai to un logo ko to trading mein bahut hi dikkat hoti hai kyunki they, they can't take a uh, balanced mindset tra- uh, trading decision so trader trader should be a calm composed and down to earth humble person to get the success in the market ye ek ek, ek ability honi chahiye otherwise one should focus on the invested investment side only right there is one question which has come from the audience it's from shiva kumar how to trade profit during volatility volatility is uh, during volatility there will how be trade profit? Profit. hello uh, during ha uh, whenever the market is a stable market and when it immediately converts into volatile market then there will be a increase in the ivs of the market and generally with volatility market becomes a bearish market so i have keep a rule in my option writing position i never uh, keep put writing position whenever the rsi trades below 40 40 
So if the RSI is below 40, then generally that times market starts becoming volatile and there is a uh, market becomes more of a bearish type and IV start increasing. So I never write put options below RSI 40 level in my time frame. So no, no. question is like, how do you trail it? So you are saying that you book profits when you're making around 3% of the uh, uh, 3% return. So the question here is, someone doesn't want to stop at 3. We can make it and take it up to 5. So how do we do that? How do we trade? So do we have some system? Do we use previous days, high low? Do we use two days, weekly, high low as trail stop and keep on trading? So what would be the right model? No, my, my, my system remains same. If, even if the IVs are high or IVs or the low, low volatility is high or volatility is low. My I, I, I am a directional option trader. So that's what I, I was trying to tell. In volatility market, volatility don't comes in the bullish market. Volatility they always comes in the bearish market. So that time I, have, I will have only call writing position only. Ha, call writing position. So how would you read? Mane, how would you take it on? How would you trail it? So instead of booking profits from call writing, do you write a lower strike and then carry forward the position or do you just exit the position? No. In in volatility market, I will go for little bit less delta. Means instead of going for 0.2 delta, I will go for 0.15 delta. But I will write the position. I, I will not book the... I will not come the lower side. I will not go for higher than 0.2 delta. If, uh, particularly in volatility market. Right. Did you see uh, we are so running out of time now? So I think uh, what is your final advice to the audience, our audience and your audience? My final advice will be uh, ek, always try to learn market mein ek hi learn karna hai how to book the losses. So loss book karne ka seekh jao. Loss kabhi bhi book karne aaye to ekdam himmat se book karo. Don't be afraid of booking a loss. Because jada tar log out of ego or out of emotions loss ko book nahi karte aur loss wali position ko pakad ke ek hope mein pakad ke rakte. There is a no place hope the market to jab bhi loss dikhe immediately usko book karne ka rakho aur uh, generally aapke trading system ko bari bari change mat karo even aapke trading time frame ko bhi bari bari change mat karo jo bhi cheez ne aapko long run mein paisa diya hai to don't jump from one system to another system just stick to one system that's it yes it's a great advice uh, by jigdish ji thank you very much uh, shankar uh, we can close the session i think of course, yes, of course. So, friends, it was lovely uh, today that we all were there attending Jignesh Dr. Jignesh class. So, that was quite lovely. For any queries or doubts, further queries or doubts, you can write to us. You have our Twitter handle with us. So, you can follow us for market updates and be with us. And most importantly, whatever we are discussed here today, are only and only for knowledge purpose and they are not at all any recommendations. So that would be all for today. So see you friends next week.